Happy New Year. Happy New Year. For those who are being set free from bondage, those of y'all who made are making resolutions or not, I don't deal, you know, I don't have a feeling about that one way or the other. But according to um, the Europeans' calendar, this is New Year. This is not, the new year for them is not the spring where you see all the babies and the flowers and the, the greenery come into life. Uh, 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 new year for them is a cold, barren day with no leaves on the tree. <laughs> Just like uh, the 10th month is Ak, right? Ak. And I thought Ak meant eight. So yes, they try to throw you off spiritually, but you can't let that happen. And this stuff is so old and dated. It's so old that you have to just find it for yourself. You can't expect other people to go with you and agree with you. Because they can't. And if they could, the cognitive dissonance is too much. It's just too much. But I thank God I'm free. I'm free from those kind of thoughts like that. And there's a lot of us that are free from those kind of thoughts. And that's why I want to give a shout out again to, I saw Master P and um, a Romeo who are on the road to repairing and healing their relationship, which I think is wonderful. It's, but just because you saw that picture doesn't mean it's all going to be easy and peaches and cream. Uh, and so that is for Romeo, uh, Percy and the audience because healing is a process. Okay. And because Master P talks so much about being part of the process and the progress, I would hope that he would move his ego as far out of uh, the picture as possible. Cause I, I understand where he's coming from as a parent. I get it. And also as a parent who didn't grow up in a day when they had Oprah. <laughs> uh, as, a, as a young person who never understood narcissism. But under, didn't but noticed that a lot of people that were in my circle was acting a certain way. Okay. And so the only way you can call people out like that and get them to begin to acknowledge and look at themselves, sometimes you have to do what Romeo, Lil Percy did. It's inevitable. It's got to be done. And so now also you find Prince Harry, who is just like his mama, just like his mama in so many ways. You know, he said he would love to have his father and his brother, his family back. He said, but they don't got no willingness to reconcile because they represent an institution. And that's just like what I'm telling you, that we have come to know about white folk. They have been taught racism and superiority. So it's really not y'all fault. When people point it out to you, I want you to understand that as a black woman, I can, I'm just speaking for myself. I can't blame you for being racist. I don't blame you for your thoughts because they've been ingrained in you. However, it's not an excuse to stay sick. And it is up to you when you pass through these halls of this life this um, paradigm, you know, shift right here. You're supposed to be thinking, how can I get better? And when you realize that the school system, the religions and everything have been painted white and their lies and that you have a whole government back in these lies and st stopping uh real history from being taught in schools because white people may feel bad maybe that's what's needed in order to heal but when you hide behind those kind of frills and shit like that then that means oh your day is coming 
Is that, and I don't even worry about that. Just like I told you, I know who I be. I know your day is coming. It's coming sure as I'm sitting here. It's coming. Because nobody can be that hateful. No one can be that hateful. And have done so many hateful things. And then think that the uh, heart of humanity is going to find favor with you. That's just not how any of this works. Okay. So Harry said he would like to have his father and brother back. He said, but there's no way that's going to happen because they're not really going to accept his wife. Uh, they even want to make lies to make it seem like that all that stuff didn't happen to Meghan Markle. That they didn't drive her crazy when they are the seat of where all this race, racism and stuff um, identifying by color started. How dare, see the arrogance? And that's why it's going to be, it's hard to deal with them because their arrogance, their arrogance and their pompousness. You remember when Jesus said, you at the arrogance of the scribes and the Pharisees, they think that they are better than everybody and they got, um, you know, they, they have the monopoly on Jesus and what he said. Just like right now, they're having the monopoly um, and, and, and on, on what um, Dr. King said. Because now they're pulling up his words, knowing they put a bullet in his head. The government of this United States. Same thing with John Kennedy. I mean, come on. The list goes on and on and on. But the hypocrisy. The hypocrisy is, is just devastating. And so when Harry says that he doesn't wish this to be this way, and he it doesn't have to be this way, we need to take him seriously. He says um, they feel as though it is better to keep us somehow as the villains and that they have shown absolutely no willingness to reconcile. Harry's fresh attacks on the royal family, these are attacks now, threatened to further damage his relationship with William, which sources say is already hanging by a thread. See, I never thought that the royal, 38, who spoke to U.S. TV personality Anderson Cooper for his popular interview, 60 Minutes. You know, it's amazing to me. I never thought that um, Harry would be more like his mother, especially when I saw him with that Nazi suit on. I was like, wow, he's going he's gonna to be the one to keep up tradition. But my hat and heart goes out to you, Harry. Um, and I appreciate, I appreciate your spirit and your willingness to open up and, and share because you are royal family. And for you to talk about the racism and the nastiness and the evilness that men do, white men in particular, and then throw rocks and hide their hands is really something when you speak out on it. It's, it's really something. And I know that you're paying the price. Just like the rest of the royals who rejected institution, the institution. But you have a right to play with your children. You have a right to be free, run up and down, ride a bike, and do all those things without being <sighs> scrutinized. Oh, you didn't have your cough to the left. Chilio, pop, pop. Mad word. And my hat goes off to you. You know, because your job is to protect your family. And um, may God bless you, man. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share, and tell me what you think about Prince William making a decision to not only, I mean, Prince Harry, not only to leave the royal family, but to also talk about the racism and the lies and the hypocrisy that exists in the institution. Tell me where you stand at it. Also, I want to know what you think about me saying that white people have been taught to be racist. 
I know when y'all get together at the dinner table how y'all talk and how y'all do things. It's no secret. No secret. We all know. But how many of y'all are man or woman enough to stand up and speak out and say, yeah, I know. I get it. And it's too hard to go against my relatives. That's why I just like to join and sit amongst you. Because this this race thing is so prevalent. I've seen women have a baby by black men and the whole family reject them. So either the mother is shunned with her black baby or the baby is sent off for adoption. That's how cruel this stuff can be. I ain't never seen a black family get rid of their black baby because the woman had a baby with a white man. Never seen it. At least not over here. So the ins the just the 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 arrogance is what's gonna be the downfall. And so I'd like to know what you all think about it. Leave your comment below. I appreciate those of y'all who have been commenting. I, I appreciate you guys who have been liking and sharing the channel. God bless you. I appreciate it. Uh, this channel is slowly growing. I really appreciate all every little thing. Watching the commercials, donating to the channel, um, joining the 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 um, membership. All those things that you do to help support me, it is so valuable and it is so much needed. So I want to thank you again for supporting me right here in the mental house. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.